Hi guys, today I'm sharing our duck house build complete with swimming bath and automatic door. I wanted a cute and rustic looking build that would not only look eye-catching in the garden but would use up scrap materials that we have lying around and give the ducks their own space on the homestead. So the basic shell of the duck house was built from four pallets that we had in our junk pile. You can see how weathered they look. We pinned them together with some other random boards that were laying around and used screws to hold them together. No winning. I want to win. Four days. Um, so I'll need four or five boards more. It was important to have a pallet used as a floor because I didn't want any critters tunneling up underneath the coop and then we overlaid boards on the floor because of the gaps. I didn't want anyone getting their feet stuck between the boards. Once the main shell was up we added some angled boards to create a pitch for the roof. These had come from an old staircase on a deck that Caleb had demolished and brought home from a job. We cut some roof boards from a log that Caleb had milled from our woodland. We just needed a few to secure the tin roofing sheets to, but the roof boards also add strength and stability in tying the whole structure together. Okay, draw, draw on top of here. That's it, good. Good, can I do one? Yeah. All right. Now which line should we follow? Papa's or Lucy's? Mine. If you ever have friends or family throwing away leftover tin from a job, use it as an opportunity to take it off their hands. All of our coops and small structures have been roofed with scrap tin this way. I had a reason for creating a large flat roof with a good pitch, and that was planned out for harvesting rainwater that could be siphoned into a swimming bath for the ducks to enjoy. And then the plan from there is that the fertilized water will drain into the garden to feed the plants. Right. Uh, what is it? Wait, no, no, no. I need a, I need a mark right here. I need a line right there. A thousand? Right here in the six. Right about, yep, that's where I need it. Thank you. Get some close action. So then, over here. All right, Luke, I need.
After the roof was on, I lined the whole duck house with old feed bags and on top of this we clad the structure from our discarded lumber pile which mostly consists of trimmings taken from the first cut of a log when it runs through the sawmill and I think it gives a really rustic aesthetic. So one of the things that I've done with most of our animal shelters outdoor, um, and it's a good way of getting rid of things, um, I've lined them all on the inside with plastic bags because it, it's almost like a house wrap. It, it helps um, block uh, drafts and wind, um, especially for the winter. And then the other thing that I'm using is this uh, laminate flooring um, just to cover the inside so that the animals don't sort of pick at the staples or um, the plastic from the inside. And uh, we pulled up a whole flooring in the old house, um, which had, uh, it, it was no good. Um, and so I've got a lot of that scrap to use up and I'm just cutting it to size to line uh, the coops. The next part of the project involved installing an old tin bath that we pulled out of the house during the demolition. I've seen all kinds of indoor fixtures turned into garden features and so I'd had it in mind to use the bath somehow. And as anyone who keeps ducks knows, when you're having to change kiddie pools full of dirty water every day, it soon gets old. Plus. You also end up changing everyone else's water too because give your ducks enough time and they will find every trough on your homestead. We dug out and redistributed a few wheelbarrows full of dirt to give a level platform for the bath to sit on. And the idea is that the rainwater fills the bath from the roof and after the ducks have swum in it, played in it and amended it, the water will drain out through the plug into this garden area where we're planning on planting fruit trees in the future. We secured the bath in place with a few rocks to close off the underside of the bath and then we backfilled the gaps with dirt so to create a bank for the ducks to enter and exit the water easily and I was so pleased with how it turned out. Although I had installed a temporary door on the duck house, I was reluctant to move the ducks in because I didn't trust that a crafty raccoon wouldn't get my door open with it being ground level. So having installed an automatic coop door on the main coop, which I absolutely love, I decided to go ahead and put the same on the duck house. I do have a full review video on this particular coop door from Run Chicken and I'll link the video in the description box below in case you're interested to know more about it. True to how we do things around here, 
I found the perfect size piece of exterior plywood, which needed some cleaning up, but I could use it as a backboard for the new door. And as a carpenter's wife, who is generally left lacking tools once Mr. Carpenter leaves the homestead to attend a job, I have two wonderful neighbors who have been mentoring me in my DIY endeavors. And having taken me under their wing, they drive over bringing help and humor, which always makes a job more successful and faster. As long as all of this is gone, yeah. Because yeah. it's gonna be covered. Okay, so right. Right. so you're gonna do that. There you go. Go little. Once you get the hole cut to the right size, and I am working on honing my skills with a jigsaw, installing the door is as simple as six screws and you're done. No wires, no programming, nothing, but you can attach your board and you're done. All that was left to do was to fill the bath and get the ducks moved in. Oh, and uh, sorry for the corny humour, but they took to it like a duck to water.